Ladies and gentlemen, boys and ghouls, step right up. Behind this curtain lies a ghastly concoction of delight, horror, fantasy, and terror. Your every wish is our command, your every whimsical desire brought to life. But I'm warning you, there's always a price. Welcome to the greatest show on earth! Dark Carnival is in town, you'd better be ready Just follow the parade of dancing skeletons Full of ghoulish delights around every corner Don't tell your parents you're here, they will soon be mourners Welcome to the lower berth, the greatest show on earth We appear without a sound, the darkest show around We will leave you in a daze, madness, murder, dismay we will disappear at night with blood upon the concrete. I will be your ticket taker. Come inside, it's a dream. Enter the fun house of fears. No one can hear you scream. We can supply anything that your heart desires. But the consequences will surely be dire. To the lower bird, the greatest show on earth. We appear without a sound. The darkest show around. We will leave you in a daze. Madness, murder, dismay. We will disappear at night with blood upon the concrete. Come inside for the ride, your deepest, darkest fears The best night of your life, you're never leaving here The unknown, the unseen, is what you're gonna find Witness this, witness that, until you lose your mind Welcome to the lower berth, the greatest show on earth We appear without a sound, the darkest show around We will leave you in a daze, madness, murder, dismay We will disappear at night with blood upon the concrete That is not what we're talking about tonight. Hey, today is the beginning of Spooktober Spectacular 2023. Is it can is it candy tearless? Yeah, that's what it's supposed to be. But um, let's get the call started with my good friend and co-host Rick. Hello. <laughs> Five minutes, my dude.
you want to just you, do you want to just join on the call from your phone and that way we can just get this started. I, I know I'm on my phone right now. Okay. Also, AirPods. Yeah, AirPods are not working on your phone, but that's all. Yeah, let's just get this started. I'm very sorry, you guys. This is stupid. Uh, when you edit this thing, you can just take this stuff part out because this is ridiculous. It's stupid. Yeah. Thank God for uh, video editing software. All right. So yeah. to start our tier list. Uh, tier list. We have Hershey's Cookies and Cream Candy Bar. I would put this one into the um, S tier or First Gone. Um, what about you, Rick? I put that there. That's fine. Um, and if anyone in the chat wants to comment on the tier list as well, please, by all means, do so. Oh, Pink Chibi, I used to like them, but personally dislike them now. Really? Interesting. Um, next up, we got Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. I don't think you can ever go wrong with these things. These things are delicious. Ooh, they're nice. The question is, do we put them into S tier as well, or do we put them into A? Because I would put Reese. I would argue that Reese's Peanut Butter Cups are good, but they're not as good as Reese's Pieces. I would put them, in that case, I'd put it probably D tier then. Alright. Next up, we got Kit Kats. Um, not gonna lie, these used to be my favorite candy when I was a little kid, but nowadays, as an adult, they're just kind of mid. I'd put them in a B tier. What about you? Probably B tier as well. Pink Chibi, it's my literal favorite candy, and Kit Kats are awesome too. I'm I'm trying to figure if that if she's talking about the Reese's Pieces or not. Oh, five uh, is that no? That's a hundred grand bar. Oh man. Okay, I've only had these things once, but imagine I don't know if you've had them before. Um, from what I remember, they're basically like a. I did it! I did it! Oh, I did it. nice! I figured it out. Literally, all I had to do, I didn't even see what the device is. All I had to do was go into Discord and manually set the audio settings to my headset. Once I did that, then it finally got its way to my headphones. I mean, Kit Kats used to be my favorite when I was younger, but now it's Reese's. Ah. So, Rick, have you ever tried a hundred grand bar? What the hell is a hundred grand? Okay, so a hundred grand, a grand bar. You don't see them very often these days. They still make them. Um. But they're basically like, if you've ever had a Rice Krispie Treat, cover it in chocolate, and instead of using, and uh, in addition to mars marshmallow, it's held together with caramel as well. Oh, cool. Okay. Yeah. Um, they're good, but they're very, they're very hard to come by. Uh, I don't, I don't think I've, I actually, the last time I had one was when I was like, maybe 16. I'm going to put it into the S tier. Actually, no, that seems a bit too high. Maybe A. Alright, next we got the Reese's Pieces. I'm def I, I would definitely say that Reese's Pieces go in S. These are among my favorite candies. I don't have one favorite candy. I have several. Yeah, it's uh, them and M&M's between those two. The, uh, those little pieces, man, so good. You know, it's funny. I used to like M&M's as a kid. Now, as an, uh, as an adult, I notice that the, that the chocolate in them isn't the greatest. And it's just like, oh, eh, M&M's, nah. Yeah, I feel you there. Actually, let me ask you this. Have you ever tried the peanut butter m and I have. Those are actually pretty good. I would put those in a solid A, and I'd put M&M's at B, probably. Okay. Um, actually, I have a question about the uh, the candy. So when we're making the candies, are we just doing like one of each type, or are we doing like different variants? I know we did the cookies and cream Hershey's earlier, but like, are we doing that for other candies? Or? Um, it looks like we have some. It looks like it's a mix. Some of these have variants that are shown up as separate items, and others don't. I did not make. I did not make this with these different candies. Um, I recognize everything that's on here, but I didn't make this. Somebody else did. Okay. Um, next up, we got Sweet Tarts, original. Um, I remember having these, like, maybe once or twice as a kid, um, or I might have had an off-brand of them called Bottle Caps. I remember them being okay. They're less chalky than Smarties, which instantly puts them above that, and I liked Smarties as a kid. I still like Smarties as an adult. I just think these are kind of a higher-quality version of that. So I would probably put these in B tier. Hmm. 
I don't know. I haven't really had sweet tarts that often. I think I did have when I was very, very young. But, um, I don't remember. Uh, Chibi what? in the chat saying, oh boy, Reese's Pieces. I personally prefer cups, but not, uh, not in pieces due to me preferring the chocolate and peanut butter. But I like it when they're in shapes via holiday shapes. My sister likes sweet tarts. Personally, I don't. Too sour to me. Yeah, I, I mean, you gotta have, you gotta like, um, sweet, like that combination of sweet and sour. Um... Actually, I think that with sweet tarts, it's like half of them are sweet and half of them are sour. So yeah, you gotta get lucky if you want to avoid the sours. Me, I kind of like them both, though. I'm sorry, I interrupted you, didn't I, Rick? No, I'm just messing around with the audio settings. Okay. Uh, um, where would you say sweet tarts would go? Uh, I'll put sweet tarts probably... I'm just kind of weak, so I would say... Give you said they're better than, like, the the other ones? Maybe... Yeah, they're Eaters? better than Smarties. I would put... I would put Smarties into Last Gone, and that's what these are here. So, if... Uh, let's say we put Sweet Tarts in B, then. Okay, that's what I'm thinking. Next, we got Three Musketeers. This was my all-time favorite candy bar as a kid, and as an adult, I actually still like these. I know a lot of people who... Um, when they were younger, loved these things and grew to dislike them as they got older. For some reason, that just didn't happen to me. You ever have Three Musketeers, Rick? Oh, I love Three Musketeers. Those are a classic. All right. I think I know where these are going. Hey, hey let's go. Next, we got Pixie Sticks. My stepsister, when my mom was married to her third husband, fucking loved Pixie Sticks. She would get one at any opportunity she could. I've... I, I've had pixie sticks once or twice. I don't I know people who really like this candy. I won't I wouldn't say it's last gone. I wouldn't even say that I dislike it. I would just I would say it's a B. It's a mid candy. What about you? Yeah, I'd say mid as well. Next we Actually, got airheads. Um airheads are kind of odd. I would put them into I I, I would put these somewhere between Last Gone and and B. If we had a C tier, they would probably go there. Um, unfortunately, this tier list does not have... Oh, you know what? No, that wasn't supposed to do... Stop that. There we go. I thought that clicking the gear would make another um, tier appear. Evidently not. Um, but yeah, the interesting thing about Airheads is that they've got, like, this sugary coating on them, but they've got, like, kind of, um, like a fruity, um, gummy section underneath that. I would, I would, where, what would you say, Rick? Would these go above Smarties or, or behind Smarties? I'd say above. If I had to choose, I'd pick the Airheads. Alright, we'll put them in, we'll put them into the high last gone tier. Next we got... What are those? Is that... Oh! <laughs> bit of honey! Bit of honey is... <laughs> Ew, bit of honey. I... What, what even? It's, it's, it's a candy, like... Okay, imagine a honey-flavored version of a Tootsie Roll. Um... Not great. I don't think I'd throw this in the trash, but I know people who would. And I would probably eat the Smarties before I'd eat the bit of Honeys. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I've had that candy, so I can't say one way or the other. Now we got, oh, Pix, uh, Chibi in the chat, Pixie Sticks. They're fun, a little annoying with your uh, mouth wet, the straw, and the dust gets too hard to come out. Oh, yeah. That's one of the other, but you know what you do in that situation? What you do is you get a, is a uh, pair of scissors and cut the top off, and uh, problem solved. Next, we got Crunch. This was another one that I loved as a kid. Um, they kind of fell off for me because I think the quality of the chocolate actually might have gone down. I can't say for sure because my taste buds have changed. Um, your taste buds change every six years. But I'd swear this used to have better quality can uh, chocolate in them. Like it was smoother, more creamy. Nowadays, the chocolate in Crunch Bars is very chalky and uh, no. 
I don't know, man. I could go for a good old crunch bar once in a while. All right, we'll put I, it. I, we'll put it in the A tier then, right now, right between the Reese's Cup and the and the hundred grand. Next, we got Neko. That. <laughs> This is another one of those candies that I only know about because my mom and her friend talked about getting these things as, in their Halloween candy. This is old people Halloween candy right there. This is boomer Halloween candy. Um, I I know... I, I, apparently they're making a comeback. Um, I, I've seen other YouTubers do candy tier lists and they threw Neko into the trash. I've never eaten these, so I can't tell ya. I'll just put these in IDK, or the slash yeah. weren't in my neighborhood. Sounds fair. Chibi saying, remember when it gets to Butterfinger, it's a bottom tier due to recipe forever changed, unless you like the change. Wait, what? What did they change? I didn't hear about I'm, this. I don't know. I don't really eat Butterfingers, so... I, I used to, to love... Butterfingers were great when I was a kid, and I, 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 I had Butterfingers as recently as Halloween of 2017, and they were good. I didn't notice any difference. When did the recipe change happen, Chibi? Oh, no, I never was ever crazy about those. They seem a little stiff for my liking. No, well, I mean, yeah, but... I, I, I think it's the combination of the ingredients inside them. You got the toffee bits, the peanut butter. Um, years ago, I don't like it since... Okay. Um, well, Butterfinger we can get to later and come to a decision. Right now we got Sour Patch Kids. Now, Ooh. I've only eaten these once, and I remember them being absurdly sour. Now, granted, I was like seven years old, and my tolerance for sour candies wasn't as high. I would put these in the B tier underneath Pixie Sticks. Um, I, it sounds like you really like them, though. I would put them probably. I think I would put them above the sweet tarts, honestly. I don't like them as much as Kit Kats, but the thing with the Sour Patch Kids is that it's sour and sweet. Like it starts sour with the outside, but once you get into it, it's really sweet. It's really satisfying. It's All a right. nice one to hit combo that I really like. Fair enough. Next we got nerds, and I nerds are good, but. There's a variant of nerds that is even better, and I don't see it on this list. I almost wonder if it's not being made anymore. It's nerds ropes. Yes, they are. I saw it in a candy store and the mall a couple weeks back. Okay. Sadly, nerds ropes is not on this... <laughs> I just realized there's an apple and a fucking toothbrush in here! <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Who made this list? I have Was no idea. You? No, I just found this. I googled candy tier list. I, have, I think OP. I think OP may have uh, may have actually gotten these in their Halloween candy one year and might have been a bit bent out of sorts by it. <laughs> yeah, the, the two person staff from like a dentist's house. Absolutely. That's going in the trash. <laughs> Yeah. The <laughs> apple the, the the apple can stay, but I'm going to give it I'm going to put the caveat that if it's a caramel apple it goes into S tier, if it's a regular apple it goes to last gone. Mm -hmm. So we'll put it in B under the assumption it's kind of a middle ground between the two. Um, yeah, there's no candy app caramel apples here, right? Yeah, I actually make caramel apples every Halloween that I have people over. Um, I have a special recipe that I use where I melt uh, caramel in water to a certain ratio, and then I chop up cashews, and then I roll the dipped apple in the cashews, and then sit it in the fridge. And uh, everyone who's tried them has absolutely loved them. Now, cashews are expensive, but if you're doing baking, worth it. Um, but nerds, back to nerds. Unfortunately, I don't see nerds ropes. I loved Nerds Ropes as a kid. Um, evidently, they do still make them. This is just a regular box of Nerds. If it's a regular box of Nerds, I'd say a high B, probably competing between the Sour Patch and the Kit Kat. If it's a Nerds Rope, it goes up to S tier. So, um, I don't know. What about you, Rick? I think B's a good spot. I like it better than Sour Patch, but not as much as Kit Kat. All right. Next, we got Good and Plenty. Fuck good and plenty. What the hell's good and plenty? 
It's a candy that's like black licorice on the out uh, on the inside, but with like a candy coating around it. But the candy coating isn't even that good. Um, I really don't get why anyone likes Good and Plenty. I won't say it's debatably candy like Swedish Fish, because it's still black licorice. It's like it it has an audience. I just fucking hate it. <laughs> Doesn't sound very good. Conversely, Twizzlers. The Chad version of licorice. Because licorice on its... Uh, there's red licorice and there's black licorice. Everybody knows black li licorice. Um, red licorice is usually what you think of when you first hear licorice. Twizzlers are way better than licorice, and here's why. The texture on licorice is, uh, is like, kind of rough, a bit chalky. This, uh, Twizzlers, it's smooth. It's delicious. I can't... I, 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 I love this candy. This is one of the few non-chocolate candies as a kid that I would like chow down on first if I got it in my Halloween candy. Have you ever had Twizzlers, Rick? Yes, and I hate them. Really? Yeah, they're disgusting. Are you sure it wasn't licorice? Nope, it was straight up Twizzlers. I didn't like the texture, I didn't like the flavor, it tasted very... Uh, Honestly, it tasted kind of like rubber, to be honest. Wow, it was not that's yep. surprising. Okay, well, I guess we're going to have to compromise and put Twizzlers at B, then. Yeah, if we do that, we put it below the Sour Pants Kids. I mean, I would have put it into the S tier, remember. Um, we'll, put it, we'll put it between the Kit Kat and the, and the, and the Nerds. Fair enough. Um, dip and Dot. Or no, Dots. These are another one where I just fucking hate these things. Really? I love them. <laughs> the reason I don't like them is that the, fl the fruit flavor is not very flavorful. They're very bland. Um, they have rough exterior, but once you bite into them, they're gooey. They're, it's like, I get the idea behind these. I just don't think the execution is very good. I don't know, I kind of get the, I, I, I really, that's what I liked about them, is that it starts off a little hard, but like, once you, it's like with the kids, like, once you get into it, it's really nice, the flavors really pop out. Well, here's the thing, uh, the, the, the flavor isn't even that strong in these things, or at least the ones that I had. Um, I don't know, maybe, maybe the ones you had were more flavorful. I guess we'll put these at, we'll put these at, um, would you say these go above Sour Patch Kids, or would you say they go... Um, below them. I would say above it, but... Alright. Next, we got M&M's. Um, now, unfortunately, peanut butter M&M's are not in this lineup here. Um, if these were peanut butter M&M's, they'd go straight into the A tier. As an adult, uh, as a kid, I would have said they'd go into the A tier, possibly even S. As an adult, though, I don't know, maybe the quality of the candy's gone down, but I'd swear they're not as good as they used to be. Really? I still think they're pretty good. I, I'd say A-tier actually sounds good for M&M's. It's a classic. You can't really get that wrong. You know what? I take it back, because I just realized that the M&M's I've been eating in Trail Mix aren't actually M&M's M&M's. They're just um, generic versions, and the quality's different on those. So yeah, you know what? We, we can put the M&M's in A. See, I'm about to say, but like, you can't do the trail mix versions. Of yeah, it's gonna taste worse. Actually, I <laughs> would give. Mix, I would give out trail mix as Halloween candy. It's got M and M's in it. <laughs> I mean, yeah, but like you said, it's not the real M and M's. True, it's, it's true, <laughs> true. Chinese bootleg M and M's. Bro, that's like um, what is it? You have someone watch Gumball, but it's a Chinese knockoff. Right? Oh my god, yes. Wait a minute, what the fuck are these? Are these packs of know. gum? I think these are like packs of like um, five gum or something along those lines. Are you sure it's not Pez? Um, maybe. It's hard to say. Oh, you know what? Yeah, I think that is Pez. Yeah, that's Pez. Okay. Um, I don't really have strong feelings towards Pez one way or the other. I mean, they're a fun candy. They're they're sugary. Um, they got the same appeal as as the Nerds. Um, but they're not, like, outstanding in any way, shape, or form, be it bad or good. 
I don't remember much about the Pez. The only thing I remember is that they had those fancy cartoon characters. Oh yeah, the thing. Pez dispensers. I actually have one of those that I got in my stocking some Christmases ago that I keep on my desk still. It's got a little polar bear wearing a red and green Santa hat. Oh, that's funny. I like that. You know what's interesting about Pez? It was actually invented to help people quit smoking. Are you serious? Yep, the guy invented Pez. Um, this was all the way back in like the 1910s or the late 1900s. And this guy knew that smoking was bad for people and it was killing them. So he was trying to create something that would help them get that craving without having them having to smoke. And the reason the pen dispensers became what they are was to imitate the dispensers of, like, a lighter for cigarettes. Oh, food. that's clever! Yeah, but what ended up happening was when they came to the U.S., they decided to market it to children because that would be a fun candy treat. So instead of becoming a medicine to help adults, it ended up becoming a kid's candy. Ah. Um, did you... Slightly related, did you know that the, uh, that cornflakes and, by extension, breakfast cereals were kind of, were originally invented to help, uh, stop whacking it? Yeah, yeah, the guy who made cornflakes, um, was trying to help dudes stop whacking it. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> uh, I don't know the thought process behind this, but it's, it's, it's pretty well documented that the guy who, the guy who made it was like a, um, I, I can't remember if he was a Quaker or some other denomination of Christian, but he's like, yeah, no, this is, uh, this is meant to be taking away those, uh, urges. <laughs> I, yeah, that's, much like the piss, I'm pretty sure that did not work. It didn't, yeah, that, I, <laughs> Um, Chibi in the chat, I don't like them either, WW. I get sad every year with um, but happy when I can trade them for chocolate from people who don't know quality. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you, oh, you, you sound like me. You sound like me and my brother. <laughs> Actually, come to think of it, I'm trying to remember if we ever traded candy as kids. No, I think we got banned from doing that, actually. Because there was this one year... Yeah, there was this one year where we traded candy, and we got into a disagreement, and, we, and um, my brother, like, started punching, and Mom was like, okay, no, you can't trade candies anymore. So, yeah. Um, let's put Pez in... Let's put Pez in B tier, then. Would these go... Where in B tier would these go, though? Are they a high B, a mid B, or a low B? I would probably... Let me think. Maybe above? Actually, I probably would have below the Sweet Tarts, actually. Yeah, we'll put them above the Pixie Sticks. Not because they're terrible, because everything else in that tier is just better, in my opinion. Yeah. So. No, I, I, I completely get... I can get completely get... Oh, Andy's Mints. These things are good. You ever have these? Nope. They are chocolate... With a layer of mint can uh, chocolate between them, they're expensive, which is why you don't really see them given out as Halloween candy terribly often. But man, they're delicious, and uh, they make peppermint bark variants for Christmas time. Oh, cool! Yeah. Wait, hang on. Do you know if like the York candies are here? Yes. Yes, I they are right, there. right here. That's the one I typically have. Yeah, I that's what I got too. Um. That's 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 what I usually get too. But I have seen I have had like maybe one or two occasions where I got Andes in my uh thing in my can Halloween bag, and they usually let you take a small handful. So that's cool. Next we got idea. what does that say? Rune uh, runts runts. Oh, runts are fucking awesome. Um, they're a Wonka candy like the Wonka bar, the Nerds, Laffy Taffy. Um. And they're fruit shaped. My mom actually bought like a a five pound bag of these bef uh, before the as the hurricane was due, so she has something to snack on during the hurricane. Uh, but um, you have these little hard candies that are shaped by like different fruits. So the grape ones are shaped like grapes. The banana ones are shaped like bananas. The apple ones are sm uh, little green round and round. The peach ones are shaped like hearts. They're cute. They're fun. I like them. I can't say I've never had them. All right, um, I'll put them next to the nerds. So maybe slightly. Well, it kind of depends, cause you're not supposed to eat these. Uh, um, like you're not supposed to chew hard candy, but I do it anyway. You are, however, supposed to. Chew, you are, however, okay to chew nerds. Which I mean, yeah. How else would you eat it? 
I'm hard, I'm, I'm trying to figure out, because, I mean, with these two, they're kind of the same thing, but not really. Um, I think the fruit flavors being mixed in adds a little more variety than the nerds, because from what I remember about nerds, the flavor is usually all one flavor in a box. Oh, okay, I can see why in that case. Taffy. Okay, I'm gonna put the- I- I would say I'd put Laffy Taffy at the A tier. If it were saltwater taffy, that would go straight into S tier. I love taffy. I once, um, went to the Parkway Plaza bowling alley in El Cajon and ha and played a bunch of skee ball and got, like, a ton of tickets. I could have bought, like, a medium tier prize, but there was nothing there that interested me, so I just bought the arcade's entire supply of taffy. <laughs> 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 I had this gigantic ass bag of taffy, and, and uh, I was with my I was out with my friends. That was a great day, and of course, so yeah, we spent the rest of the day um, eating taffy, and I had like taffy for like a month. I had I had a nice Dude. supply. <laughs> Dude, that's awesome. Yeah, I'm gonna put the uh, laffy taffy in A. What about you, Rick? All right, now that's good. I like that. Next, we got Werther's Originals, hard, but um. Oh, these are those uh, hard butterscotch caramel candies. Whoa. I like them. Apparently, a lot of people aren't fond of that. I really don't know why. I don't know. I think I had them once. I was not crazy. It tasted kind of funky. I wasn't. I'm not, I'm not a fan. Wait a minute. There's two variants here. One of these is butterscotch, and one of these is. Hold up. I'm going to Google this real quick. Just so we know what we're looking at. Yeah. Images. Okay, so this is caramel hard, and then the blue is Chewy's. Oh. Okay. The one I had was the hard candy. If that's a chew. Mm. Yeah, these are chewables mm. then. Okay. I think. I don't know where I put the hard ones. I think I like the Chewy's a little bit better. Just because it, um, I think I prefer the texture there, it's softer, so it's not as like, like the flavor isn't crazy, but it's not as like harsh as the harder candies, so yeah. maybe, so whatever we put this, we put the hard version below there, like a different, the tier below there. Yeah, I would put these at the A tier, um, cause I like butterscotch, I like caramel, I like stuff like that. Um, caramel I like, but butterscotch, I'm, I don't know. Butterscotch not as crazy, but I don't know why. I'm just not... One, if you... If, at some point, you gotta fly out here to visit, and I'll bake a batch of those kick-ass cookies with the butterscotch chips in them so you can try them, because I think you'll like those. Ooh, yes, I think you told me about that one. Yeah, I told you about those on the Christmas special of Branch Brothers last year after ser um, after the service was over, essentially. <laughs> um, oh, man, that was fun. Yeah, I'm looking forward to this year's uh to to the fir to the one year anniversary and the Christmas special. I'm also looking forward to the Thanksgiving one. There is a very specific worship song that I thought perfectly fit for that uh for that holiday for Thanksgiving. Um, but now we have hard strawberry candies. These things are fucking addicting. My mom actually has a bowl of these in her candy bowl downstairs. And I will occasionally go and, like, I'll start craving these in the middle of the night. I'll go down and, like, take a small fistful. Mm -hmm. I haven't had those either. I don't, I don't have an answer for that. This is another one of those stereotypical old people candies. I just happen to like them. I, the strawberry in them is really sweet. But admittedly, I'd, I'd probably be, like... I, I, People would skin me alive if I put them in A. I'm gonna put them in a high B. Okay. Um, next we got uh, Hershey's Kisses. Kisses. Yes, Hershey, Hershey's Kisses. Um, these used to be great. I'd swear that the recipe changed because like with um, other chocolates, they got chalkier and less creamy as the years have gone on. I, I can't get enough of those. <laughs> now, if these I, were the peppermint bark versions that they make at Christmas, that'd be another story. Or if they were the caramel-filled versions, those are good, too. Or or those peanut butter kisses. 
There's peanut butter cheeses? They're fucking delicious. I actually had an entire bag that was the size of my face that I kept in my desk at Qualcomm when I worked there. Dude, I didn't even know those existed. Yeah, they sold them. You can, I, I'm sure you could find them on, on like, Amazon. They're fucking great. Oh, man. Now uh, I want them. Yeah, <laughs> I know, right? I'm getting, I'm, I'm getting, uh, I'm getting a bit of a, I'm getting a bit of a sweet tooth going on here. Oh, you're. Um, but for de but for regular kisses, I would like. There's so many better versions of these uh, of these particular candy. Um, uh, you know what? Let's put it in A because of all the good versions that are superior. But we'll make it a low A. That's fair. Um, next we got. Hershey's chocolate bar. Ooh, classic. Now I would put these in the S tier. These are delicious. I know the funny thing is, you know how my frustration with certain chocolates on this list is that they've gotten like worse quality? My friends actually can't stand Hershey's chocolates because apparently the quality is so low. They're the ones they're the one chocolate bar that I have not seen a drop in quality. I think they're fine. They're good. Yeah, I agree. They're of all the bars, they're probably the creamiest. They, they still have that nice, like, creamy feel to it, especially when they melt in your mouth. Oof, oh, it's so delicious. Good. Next, and we you got. You can have it so many things, right? We got like s'mores. You can have it on like cake. Oh yeah, they're right? versatile too. There's a reason that they sell them in the baking aisle year round. Next, we got Mike and Ike. Like good and plenty, I would throw these right in the trash. Yeah, I'm not crazy on Mike and Ike. They just seem like a lamer version of like nerds. Oh, is that oh, what they wait. are? I think. I haven't really had them. I'm gonna Google um, that real quick. Actually, let me ask you this. Do you remember that whole campaign they did where, like, they had, like, Mike and Ike, but, like, separate brands? No. Yeah, there was a whole thing back in the day where, like, there was, like, Mike versus Ike. So one bag was Mike, the other was Ike. And it was like... Oh, now you got me was, wondering if Left Twix versus Right Twix was supposed to be a parody of that. Maybe. Is that still a thing? Um, I, th I think people only bring it up in, like, memes. Snickers. Um, I think Snickers is good. I think they're okay. Um, if I had to pick them, I don't think they're terrible. Uh, I would say B tier for stickers. They're okay. Really? I'd, I'd have put these in A tier. I, I would say B only because I just think it's a bit um, over designed from a, um, a creation perspective. I think there's just too much flavor in it, and it kind of makes it hard to swallow, I guess. Really? Oh, yeah, I'm not a fan of like the chunky parts inside. They're they're kind of hard. Oh, to see, chew. I like that. I like the peanuts. I like the peanuts in the caramel. Um, the, I tell the, you yeah, what, we'll I'll, we'll put it underneath the we'll put it underneath the kisses. All right, that's fair. I will say this though: as much as I love peanut butter, I cannot stand peanut chunks. Really? I don't know what it is. I I think it's just the texture or something. I just don't like it. All right. Okay, so next up we got Almond Joy. Now, I've only ever gotten dark chocolate Almond Joys, and I fucking hate dark chocolate. Um, I've gotten a bit more of a tolerance to it as I've gotten older, because my taste buds have mellowed out. Um, I used to think I didn't like coconut either, and now I'm like, yeah, you know what? The almond, the, the chocolate, and the uh, coconut all come together nice enough that I can ha that I can deal with it. These would probably be in the last gone for me if it was dark chocolate. These look like they're milk chocolate, though, which might bump them up into the B tier for me. What about you? Um, let me think. I think... I don't know, I never really had all the joys, but... I, in that case, I'm fine with that, then. Alright. Um... I'll put these right over here. Next, we got Baby Ruth. And the only reason I know about this candy is from the Goonies. <laughs> uh-huh. Um, I think I had, like, a Baby Ruth bar, like, once when I was maybe seven or eight. Um, I scarcely remember what it was like. I, if I remember, I, I, it's, if I recall correctly, it was kind of like a Three Musketeers bar, but not really. 
Um, I definitely would probably eat it before I ate a Kit Kat, though. I'll tell you that. Um, thinking A tier. Uh, sorry, which one was that again? Baby Ruth. Baby Ruth. Uh, um, you said A for Baby Ruth? Yeah. It, yeah, I would say probably a low A. Lower than Snickers, but above Kit Kat. I would say like a, uh, maybe like a mid B. Alright. Um, let's put it next to the Almond Joy. Next we got Caramel Apple Pops. I really don't know what to do with these, because I am spoiled by knowing how to make my own caramel apples. Um, granted, if you want that caramel apple flavor, they're good for that. Um, and you don't want to spend, like, hours actually making caramel apples. You just want to take the lazy way. <laughs> and I wouldn't, I wouldn't blame you. If you had, like, a, uh, if you had a Halloween that was just you sitting on your couch watching horror movies, and you didn't have friends over, and you couldn't be bothered, I get it. Um, at the same time, though, they do not measure up to an actual caramel apple. I don't, I've never, it's hard to tell. I've never had these either, so I can't say one way or the other. Oh, really? I'll put, yeah. them, I'll put them in, I'll put them in B. Okay. Um, yeah, that looks good. Next we got, what the fuck is that? I have no idea. I can't the even see what, what is this resolution? <laughs> I'm gonna, okay, I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna try and reverse image search this. Um, save as. Oh wait, don't you have to put in the tier to save it? I thought I was saving it as a PNG. No, I meant. Oh, I was looking at the save or download. Button. Oh, that's the page. I didn't want to save the page. <laughs> And, um, to make matters worse, I can't, I can't, I, I don't recognize these. Wait, you know what? Okay, this is gonna be jank as fuck. Oh, Charleston Ch Chew! I've actually what had the, those! What the fuck is a Charleston Chew? Okay, um, imagine a very chewy piece of chocolate surrounding a cream center. Like a Boston cream donut? Kind of, yeah. Ooh, that sounds interesting. I've never had that before. But yeah. it sounds really good. I, I, you know what? Let me Google if they still make these things. Yes, you can buy bags of these on Amazon for $17, which means you probably get a lot of them. Wouldn't they go bad by the time it gets to your house, though? Nah. Well, I mean, if you're living in California, nah. If you're living elsewhere, maybe. Depends on how far away your local Amazon warehouse is. Amazon started delivering delivering people's groceries. Yeah, because they own Whole Foods. They do it through there. Yeah. Oh. Um. I would put these at A tier. Um. Probably a low A though. Yeah. Next we got Mr. Good Bar. Um. Have you so ever had Mr. Good Bar? Sort of. Have you ever had those bags of like the re the Hershey's um, fun size bundle pack, where it's like the minis, but there's different kinds? Yes, I know what you're talking about. I have I I, I have uh, gotten those before. Yeah, so I have the mini version of the Mr. Good Bar, but I never had a Mr. Good Bar candy bar. Well, full size candy bars are incredibly rare in Halloween candy these days. You you if you <laughs> oh my god. I just had a really <laughs> stupid image in my head. <laughs> Dressing like a fucking pimp for Halloween. You obviously you can't come to the door, but it would complete the it would complete the thing where you're handing out full size fucking candy bars. <laughs> obviously you could not do that. Obvious reasons. You'd have to have the bowl. <laughs> but <laughs> You'd have oh, to have think... the bowl with the take one, because you you know people would be asking questions at that point. Nah, man, if I was to do that, I wouldn't even do that. I was just this is that guy from RE4 that gives you all that fancy answer. Oh, dude, that's a great idea! Actually, you know what, you could probably get away with that on, like, a college campus. But your idea is even better, because you can get away with that anywhere. 
Exactly, a classic character. Everybody knows. Everyone, I think everyone's played either the original RE4 or the remake. So yeah. I'm sure some of you are familiar with that. Actually, do you prefer the version of the salesman from RE4, the original, or the remake? I remember the version of the salesman from the original. Um, when I played the remake, I didn't really notice anything that stood out, so I'm just like, oh, he's, he's the same as the original. Okay, fair enough. Okay, so where the heck do we put Mr. Goodbar? Um, I've only ever eaten these once, and I can scarcely remember what they were like. I think... It, I think Actually, it was good. you know what's funny? This is the one candy bar where I don't mind the peanuts, because it's basically a Hershey bar, but with peanuts in it. Oh, that sounds awesome! Okay, yeah, I know exactly where we're putting this. This is going above the crunch. Yep, I, I agree with that there. I actually agree with that, because uh, uh, the peanuts in that one, they're not as thick, so... It bounces out a lot better. Oh, I good! I get to go on my tirade against debatably uh, d about a uh, about a food that is debatably candy. Um, okay. The bubble gum or the Swedish, Swedish fish? fish? Well, I was the gum first, so we'll get the Swedish. Yeah. Um, okay. Funny story about the bubble gum. My mom would buy like a gigantic tub of this kind, this specific brand of bubble gum. Every time she went to Sam's Club when we were in grad school, it was the because it was so cheap, and um, it's like if me and my brother would ask for candy, we would always want to get chocolates because you know we're, we're sweet tooths. But it's like she didn't mind us um, having the bubble gum. She she loves the bubble gum herself, um, and because it was so cheap and affordable, we could always get some. So she would get this gigantic tub that was like the size of my head at the time. Um, I have I have eaten this candy more than any other in my lifetime, most likely. Um, that said, it's not that satisfying a Halloween candy. I would put this in a very low B or possibly last gone. Yeah, I would say last gone as well. I mean, it's just bubblegum. It's nothing crazy. So... Um, it's not terrible, I will say that, but, like, it's not something I would rush to if I were my bag. Yeah. I would save that for later. Okay, now we have the Swedish fish. I fucking hate this candy. I despise this candy with every fiber of my being. That is not a candy. It's, it's, the only thing I can compare it to is those, like, fruit roll-ups that, that I think were called fruit leather, and they, they tasted like ass, the texture was terrible. I, I, it's like, it fails in every metric of being a candy. Swedish fish is just fucking awful. I don't know why anyone eats this. I don't know why anyone ha hands this out, unless you're giving it to someone that you fucking hate. I mean, I think they're alright. They're not, like, the best candy in the world, but I think they're <laughs> deplorable, like, uh, like the Twizzlers. <laughs> well, fuck. Okay, they're going in, they're going at the very bottom of Last Gone, then, as a compromise. Because I would have put them straight into the trash. Yeah. Um, Blow Pops. Conversely, Ooh. these things are awesome. Oh, yeah, Blow Pops are cool. Battle like, of the Set- them in a lollipop? How is that not a success? I know, right? Battle of the fucking Century, though. And I'm am I'm amazed it's not on here, because they don't- I don't see- Oh, no, wait, it is. Okay, Battle of the Century, Rick. Blow Pop or Tootsie Pop? Good one. I know everyone knows the famous Tootsie Pop commercial where the owl like licks it and then he just like chomps it in one bite. Oh, that's nothing. Um, do you know? Do you know what commercial I remember for the Tootsie Pop? The fucking CGI mecha skeleton versus a versus a fucking kaiju. What? You don't remember what are you that? Talking about? Oh my god, I'm old. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna have to look it up now. Well, it's funny you say that, because the commercial I'm talking about is, is probably older than that Because that commercial was from, like, the 50s or the 60s. The one I was referencing. Not that one. Here we go, 3D commercial. Oh, I just realized I'm not capturing the audio for this. Hold up. Wait, so I hear it just fine. Yeah, you can. I don't know if our audience can. All right, audience, can you hear the video? Please let us know. Oh, I'm going through our audio sources right now. Yeah, I don't have one set to capture the browser, so I'm just going to adjust that real quick. Oh, okay. There we go. 
They'll eat your home. They'll eat your homework. They'll eat you. Excuse me. Yes? Can you tell me how many licks to the center of a Tootsie Pop? Perhaps five. At the center of every Tootsie Pop, there's a chocolatey, chewy Tootsie Roll. Begin the count. One, two, two. You bet. You bet. Allow me. One, two. How many licks to the center of a Tootsie Pop? Three. The world may never know. We bet. We bet. Yeah, okay, I get the idea. It's the same theme as the owl one, it's just with different characters. I yeah, I, I remember this commercial because of how fucking surreal it was. Yeah, <laughs> I, really I had no idea how to react to this when I saw it as a kid. Bro, that's your what's up being eaten by freaking the Terminator and Godzilla. I know, that's right? Basically, what happened? <laughs> yeah, and I had no idea what either of those things were either. I just saw this weird, weird computer generated except i didn't know that's what it was called i just recognized the animation style i was like oh i recognize this animation style this is weird and just saw i just saw that and i'm like what is this and then i saw the, it's like the fucking suckers it's like good grief yeah i would take a i would take the blow pop over the tootsie pop any day of the week yeah i, I would say blow pop would be better i uh, agree the question I is, did, I think, where, where do we put the blow pop? Do we put it in A or do we put it in S? Because we do have, like, a lot of chocolates in the S tier. We don't really have any, like, fruit-flavored candies up there yet. Let's put blow pop in S. All Let's right. Let's do that. Uh, Fireball. I am, a, despite my love of hot Cheetos, I am a scrawny white boy. I cannot eat fireballs. I will die. Oh, me neither. Dude, I'm Hispanic. <laughs> I can't have those either. Um, admittedly, though... Once you get past the outer layer, these things are actually really sweet. One of my friends was like, hey, you want my secondhand fireball? I'm like, yeah, sure. Wait, isn't that thing, like, supposed to be, like, stupid eyes? He's like, nah, that's just the outside. Here, try it. And lo and behold, yeah, no, it's like a jawbreaker with the, with extra kick to it on the outer layer. So if you can get past that first layer by either running it underwater, although I don't know why you do that, or, you know, you get a secondhand from someone, which, um, questionable... Uh, hygiene there, but I, I survived. You'll be fine. Um, but at that point, just get a jawbreaker. Yeah. I would I, I would say trade it. I wouldn't say straight into the trash because I know people who will eat this. I would say this goes into a tr into a um, into a trade tier. Um, next, we got the flavored Tootsie Rolls. Now, I love the vanilla Tootsie Rolls, but unfortunately we're doing this by an aggregate, and not all of these are bangers like the vanilla one. The green apple you know, one's pretty good. Um, the yellow one is lemon, and it tastes like really fucking artificial, and I hate it. Same with... The, the orange is a bit more palatable, but it's got the same problem. And the red's actually pretty good. The red tastes like a um, strawberry... Like, you know those pink star, uh, starbursts? It tastes like one of those. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know, man. I remember when I was in school, we had this thing where, like, we had to, like, taste Tootsie Rolls and guess the flavor based only on, like, without using smell. We had to solely rely on taste and, like, as, without taste, we had to cover our nose and blind ourselves. We had to rely solely on taste to guess the flavor. And it was really, really fun. And that was a really fun memory there. I don't get those super often. Even as a kid, just because they're, for some reason, I just never got those outside of school. It was at that one class in school. Um, but I remember liking them a lot. Even, like, the ones that weren't as powerful, I think, were fairly decent. Yeah, you know, three out of five ain't bad. Um, exactly. Since we're rating this as an aggregate, let's put it in B. Fair enough. Yeah. Man, we really do have a lot of fruit candy in the B tier. <laughs> yeah, well, unfortunately, fruit candy is mid as hell. It really is. I mean, there's a lot. Okay, now we got Fun Dip. Fun Dip. I've actually... Wait, no. Have I tried this? Is that the one with, like, the sugar and the stick that you're supposed to, like, lick and then dip in there? I think... If I remember... Yeah, okay. yeah. There's a yeah, stick yeah. there's, like... Okay, Fun Dip's like actually pretty good. I like Fun Dip. Yeah, they're all right. I like them. Um, I would put these into an A or S tier. Um... I, it could I really go either way. It, it, I, I don't know if it's good enough for S, though. I think uh, A is okay. I'm okay with A. I think it'll be good. Like a low A would be fine. All right. I think S is kind of pushing it. 
Fair enough. Okay, now we I got. I do like it. I just don't think it's like S tier quality. Okay, now we got Tootsie Pops next. Now I know that we said we would have to put them below the um, Blow Pops. We put the Blow Pop uh, Blow Pops in the a in the S tier, and rightly so. I would make the case that Tootsie Pops are a B tier, but what do you think? I think B is fine. All right. Um. Huh. Uh, I would put it probably above Almond Joy. Yeah. Between Almond Joy and Baby Ruth, I think is that, good. That looks like a good place for that. Yeah. Roll, fruit roll, these things, these are not the fruit leathers that I was roasting on earlier. Um, I did not know that people gave out fruit roll-ups and gushers as Halloween candy. That's, that's news to me. That must be a, uh, thing the millennials are doing for the Zoomers. Um... I remember eating both of these as a kid and liking them. Yeah, they're quite, they're good. Um, do we throw these in A tier? I think I do. Uh, between the two, I prefer the fruit roll-ups more. So I would put the roll-ups in A tier. We put the gushers in B tier. That's so funny. I was actually going to do the same thing, uh, but in verse. <laughs> so you know, we'll put them both uh, in A. Uh, well, well uh, they're they're a package deal. Okay. Oh wait. I Hang on, before we continue, I'll before you start sharing about Gushers. So when I was a kid, I wanted to get some Gushers. I was at my cu I was at my aunt's house, my aunt's apartment, um, when I was very young, and I wanted to get some Gushers, but I didn't know how to call it Gushers. So I just said, um, oh, well, I want the Fruit Punch. So my cousin, since I said Fruit Punch, he thought, oh, he just wants the juice. So he, she pours me a cup of Fruit Punch. She goes, oh. hey, hey, here you go. And he goes, no, I want Fruit Punch. And he's like, hey, it's right here. And I go, no, the Fruit Punch. He goes, what do you mean? It's right here. <laughs> oh, shoot. You know, you just reminded me of a similar story. When I was very little, I had a pretty advanced vocabulary for a toddler, but there were words that I pronounced like a baby. Um, I would call Gatorade alligator juice. <laughs> yeah, so, um, I, I, when I would go to my grandparents, I would always ask for alligator juice. <laughs> Alright, Harry Bokami Bears. These things are funny. These things are hysterical. <laughs> if you are the unfortunate soul who ate the sugar-free variant, I, my condolences. That said... These things are hilarious to hand out to your enemies. <laughs> um, I, I feel, uh, it's like, assuming that they're not the sugar-free variant, yeah, these things are going in B tier, maybe A. I actually remember having a bag and them being pretty good. Um, but if you get the sugar-free variant, save that some, save that for someone you want to passively, passive-aggressively tell that you hate them. Because, <laughs> have you seen the reviews for the sugar-free variant, Rick? I don't know. I I've only had the regular version like <laughs> once. Okay, I'm gonna I Google. <laughs> I'm gonna Google. I didn't even know there was a sugar-free version. <laughs> These things are notorious online. <laughs> See you in hell, Terrible sugar-free gummy bears. Yep, here we go. <laughs> that sounds like a candy made for diabetics. I know, right? <laughs> One star. It was my last class of the semester, and the final exam was worth 30% of our grade. After a late night study session, I felt confident, but I had to decide between sleeping in or cooking breakfast. My eyelids chose sleep. My stomach later regretted the decision, and after several uncomfortable stomach growls, I finally decided to make a quick stop by the campus bookstore and grab a snack before my test. Since the semester was ending and everyone was going home for the summer, a lot of items were on sale including these snacks and candy that they kept in, up in front. Being, the hung, and being in the hungry state that I was in, it felt only logical to pick the largest yet least expensive candy in order to get more bang for my buck. And there sat two bags of sugar-free gummy bears. Buy one, get one free. What a deal, I thought naively as I walked in, uh, e eating one bag before my test and one bag after. <gasps> you poor soul! Oh my god, can we get an he F in the chat them? for the- He ate both? He ate both oh in no. one sitting, pretty much. Oh can we get no. an F in the chat for this poor lad? 
Whoa, no. As I walked to class, I gleefully chewed on those abominable little bastards, unaware of the utter mayhem they would soon unleash upon my poor anus. I sat down at my desk as the professor informed us that due to issues with cheating in the past, restroom breaks would be prohibited until the completion of the exam. I'll give you ten minutes to use the restroom now. This will be your last chance, any takers. The demon bears hadn't released their unholy necromancy on my stomach yet. So in my moment of ignorant foolishness, I remained seated, still munching on those miniature bear sh Bombs! <laughs> After the students were wise enough to take the professor's offer and return, the professor handed out the test. I was six questions in when it happened. It suddenly oh, started. Oh, it started suddenly, suddenly at first. Almost like a slight tingling sensation in my lower abdomen. I thought nothing of it, assuming my intestines were just doing their thing. Little did I know that my intestines were trying to desperately warn me of the horror that was on the horizon. Oh. Uh, oh, oh, man. I gotta, I gotta take you to breathe for a second. Uh, uh, uh. Fuck. Dude, it sounds like that incident on the plane on the way to Spain. <laughs> yes! In fact, come to think of it, there was an air- there was someone who was having to deal with these in an airport as well. Ooh. Um... Okay, okay, I've got it. By question 9, it happened again, but this time it was followed by a sharp pain, as if those infernal hellions had orchestrated an attack on my colon. I fought to contain the groan that tried escaping my lips. It was at this point that I began to panic. Something was going horribly wrong. L uh, long, and I needed to get through this test before it got any worse. By question 14, my worst fear was upon me. The Satan bears burning hot liquid dark magic crashed against my anal sphincter like a tidal wave. I was unable to close the hatch. Oh, I was able to close the hatch just in time with those relentless toxic bears beat against it like orcs breaking down the doors of Helm's Deep. I knew I wouldn't be able to so much as shift in my seat without risking a breach. I kept fighting through my exam, clenching my cheeks with all the might, beads of sweat rolling down my neck, suddenly a loud gurgling war cry came from my belly, and the entire class lifted their heads! Oh no! At this point, nothing mattered except the expelling of this ungodly presence from my bowels. With 15 questions left, I wrote C for every answer and ran out of the classroom. My professor yelled something, but I was too preoccupied with the volcanic eruption that needed to take place before I could find sweet, sweet relief. Popple! Oh no! Oh no! Ah! Oh yeah! I burst into the restroom like the Kool-Aid van and behold, the handicapped stall was empty. Sun rays from the adjacent window shine upon it, as if it were a gift from God himself. It took me less than five, no, it took me less than 0.5 seconds to undo my belt buckle, pull down my pants and finally relax my weary butt on the toilet seat. It took absolutely no effort to expel this demon. Almost immediately the floodgates of hell were opened and the damned, liquefied souls of an entire bag's worth of gummy bears cried as they burned through my sphincter and into the abyss below. I had never felt such simultaneous relief and anguish in my life. After 30 more minutes of this, I immediately went home, dug a hole in my backyard, and burn the remaining bag of gummy bears. I leave with this. Do not, I repeat, do not eat cheese spawns of Satan. Not only did they cause me to fail my final, but the anguish I experienced is something I wouldn't wish upon anyone, not even my worst enemy. The only place for these godforsaken hell bears are very deep below the earth's surface. Oh, man. Yeah. What a disaster. And, um... <laughs> <laughs> this is, strangely enough, this is limited to the sugar-free variant. Um, if you eat the regular version, you should be fine. Yes. That said, um, because they are an absolute, like, because they are a hilarious curse to inflict upon your enemies, and because these, um, 
and because the normal ones are fine, I'm putting them at a high B. <laughs> Yeah, I agree. I'll, I'll keep it. That story alone saved those things. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> um, now we have the Werther's Original Hard Candy um, Butterscotch. I really like oh. these. I know you don't. I would have put them in A tier. Um, where, where would you say? Would, are these la last gone for you? Um, I'd probably say last gone. I think that's fine. Alright, then I'm going to put them in B as a compromise. We'll put them... We'll put them next to the um, other old people hard candy. Fair. Um, now we got Heath bars. I've had these maybe once or twice. They're all right. Um, I'd put them in a B. I would say last gone for me. I'm not crazy. I really don't like the flavor of those. Really? I actually no. use Heath toffee bits in my cookies. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Okay, I haven't had them in cookie form. I've only had the bar. Um, okay, I think B is fine for now. Alright, we'll throw them... Um... Yeah, that looks good. Next, we got Butterfinger. Now, I like Butterfinger. I know Chibi has mentioned her disappointment with the Butterfingers. Um, Rick, what about you? Um... Hmm... Alright. I, I think they're okay. I'm not crazy about them. I put them in B. Alright, I was going to put them in S, so we'll put them in A. Alright, that's here. Um, yeah, that looks right. Oh, Red Hots. These things are fucking painful. What are those? Um, Hot tamales. They're a... Okay, you know how there's the um, dots? Imagine that, yeah. but like nuclear hot. Like a fireball. Oh. Ooh, I don't like that. Yeah, see, th no. this would go into the trade tier with the fireball. Unfortunately, there is no trade tier. Um, Lemonheads. I've had these, like, maybe once. I'm not a fan. This would pro I, I don't know if I'd throw them away. Um, I remember them being incredibly sour. Ooh, I don't like that. Um, yeah, I would put that in the trade tier as well. Yeah, we'll put them, we'll put them right here. Now, Tootsie Rolls. I remember liking Tootsie Rolls as a kid. For some reason, as an adult, they just don't do it for me. Um, the vanilla ones do, but these base, like, chocolate ones, not so much. Hmm. They're okay. I'm not crazy about them. I'll put them next to the other Tootsie Rolls. Sounds fair. Next we got Jolly Ranchers. I love these things. Yes, those are nice. These might you know be an S-tier fruit candy. Oh, Let's do S-tier. S-tier. And you go. know what? Ring pops as well. Ooh, yes. Absolutely. Let's Especially if it's the red and blue one. The red and blue ones are delicious. Oh, they're a classic. Yep. You know, when I was a kid, I actually proposed to... I had a, I had a crush in, like, kindergarten. or it was. Did you I propose to her with a fucking ring pop? Yes. Oh, my God. I did and something similar. <laughs> no. No! Oh my god! Dude! <laughs> so, okay. I will tell you my story. There was this girl that I had a crush on in grade school. I, th It was the one that watched Beavis and Butthead. Um, when uh, we, we, we were talking on the bus on, like, our first day to school. She liked Super Mario. Um, she liked a lot of the stuff that I liked. I'm like, yeah, that's cool. And, uh, eventually I go to her with a ring pop and I'm like, hey, would you like to be my girlfriend? And she said yes. Um, I, uh, that was an inter in retrospect, that was a very interesting relationship. Um, what mom remembers about her, because she, she came to my birthday, uh, mom remembers her because she wore, like, every piece of jewelry she had. Apparently she she felt really sparkly around me, which means something to girls. I don't know what that means, but okay. Um, next we got Junior Mints. I like these things. They're one of the few uh, dark chocolate candies that I actually really like. There's just something about mint and dark chocolate that goes together really well. I mean, they do go together well, but I don't remember the specific candy, so I can't um, say what Imagine, like, a small, bite-sized version of a York Peppermint Patty. 
Okay, um, in that case, yeah, I would say whatever you pick, I'll take that. I'll put it in A. Um, above the fun dip. Oh, you know what? I'll put it in A right between the crunch and the Mr. Good bar. Next we have... Oh, Payday. These things are great. You'd probably... Actually, no, you might not hate this one. It's a candy bar consisting solely of caramel and whole peanuts. I don't think I've had that before. I know of it, but I don't think I've had it. Before. Yeah, I've, I, I've only come across these a handful of times, but they're pretty good. Um, okay. I can't decide if I'd put this in S or A, though. I'd say A. Yeah. Yeah, we'll put it... Yeah, that looks about right. Because the salt and the sweet are a good combination, and the salt is a good offset from all the other sweet candies that you get in Halloween. Now we Ooh, have Toblerone. True. This is some high-tier shit. I don't know what it's doing in a Halloween candy list, because I have never seen this given out in Halloween. I've gotten it in my stocking during Christmas on occasion, but never <laughs> Halloween. Put that in the trash. What? My dude! <laughs> Yeah, no, this is going into the S tier. Um, okay. I have no idea why in the fuck it's in the Halloween candy tier list, though. Uh, who in the fuck is handing out Toblerones? Get me some of that. I gotta find that neighborhood. Yeah, what is it? Can you say what a Toblerone is again? Is that, like, chocolate? Yeah, caramel? it's chocolate with bits of toffee inside it. Oh, that explains it. And it's okay, really high-quality chocolate and, to and toffee as well. You, you, I think it, I think that your average Toblerone is like six or seven dollars. Okay, now we, we got what looks like peanut butter M and M's. I think. No, those are the peanut M and M's. Oh, okay. I actually like these more than the uh, regular M and M's. I would put these in A tier. Oh, we got. Yeah, those are. Um. What? I'm trying to decide, because we have the other one in A tier as well. Um, I guess... It would definitely be a high A. Um, probably above the payday, probably under the Reese's. I really like peanut butter. I don't know why. I just fucking love peanut butter. Well, technically, those are not peanut butter. It's literally just peanuts. I know. I'm talking about the peanut butter cup. Yeah, yeah, I know. Um, right, that makes sense. Next, we have a Mamba bar. This looks like some sort of fruit candy bar. I've never had this. Um, Me either. I'm gonna Google That's it real quick. How I put in like the I don't know tier? I probably yeah. will. That is nope. Filipino <laughs> witches. <laughs> um, okay, these candies are heresy. Good to know. I'll avoid them. <laughs> we do not suffer the witch candy bars to live. <laughs> they're going in the they're they're going in the trash. <laughs> Milk duds. Okay, these are pretty good. Have you ever had these? Yes, and I hate them. Really? They're so meh. I like them. The, chew the chewy chocolate and caramel. I don't know. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No. No, I'm thinking of something else. These are the ones with, like, the chalky center, aren't they? No, yeah, these are the ones. It's like, I think it's chocolate and caramel. But no, it's, like, no, no. It there. is chocolate and caramel. I'm thinking of the Whoppers. No, Whoppers are great. I love Whoppers. Those guys, it's like a, it's like a stickier, chewy <laughs> version of it, and it just gets stuck in your teeth for a while. Not it's a shame we don't live in the same neighborhood. If I, I would trade you all of my Whoppers for all of your Milk Duds. <laughs> oh, absolutely. You take it. Awesome. <laughs> um. Okay, we'll put the we'll put the Milk Duds in the B a lot at the at around the same spot as the uh, Whoppers. Then, actually. Yeah, there we go. That's better. Um, now we got Milky Way. I like Milky Way. That's a good candy bar. Oh, yes. Milky Way is great. I think that That's might go into the S tier. Mm -hmm. Let's do it. Um, all right. Next we got... That looks like Starburst, but that is not Starburst. Now Zoom and in. Let's take a look. Oh, it's called Let's... a Now and Later. Now and Later candy. Oh, it's the it's the Chinese bootleg of the um, Starbursts. Now and later is an American candy brand of fruit flavored taffy like candy manufactured by Farrah Candy Company. The candy is formed into squares and packaged in colorful paper. Twelve flavors are currently available in both traditional and chewy varieties. Okay, so it's a kind of taffy. Well, it's not saltwater taffy. 
And it's probably not as good as Laffy Taffy since less people ha uh, buy it. So I'm going to put it like maybe... Wh where did we put Laffy Taffy? Oh, Laffy Taffy I went into A, so we'll put these in like B somewhere. Alright. Maybe like a low B. Yeah, we'll put them... Um, we'll put them underneath the... Uh, we'll put them between the Tootsie Rolls and the Apple. Raisinets, another debatably candy candy. I mean, I get that they're oh, chocolate covered raisins, but seriously, who's gonna eat these? Nah, nah, I, nah, I don't like that. That's going That's in the trash. The trash. <laughs> yeah, uh, not uh, even trade, just throw it out. Yeah, there really should have been another tier. Um, next we got Skittles. Skittles are okay, but I, I'm not a huge fan of them. I, I, I wouldn't. To be I'd probably eat them before. I'd probably put them, like, right around here. Actually, I would probably put them, like, right here above the Swedish Fish. And I don't hate these nearly as viscerally as Swedish Fish. It's just that I would sooner eat anything else from this list. Except maybe the apple, assuming that it's plain. If it's caramel, the uh, Yeah, we've already established that. Um, so yeah. Skittles? I don't know. What about you, man? Would you throw these in B or Last Gone? I'd say last gone. All right, I'll put them right over here. Um, next we got Str uh, Starbursts. Now, I, like with the uh, fruit flavored Tootsie Rolls, Starbursts really depend on the flavor. I love the pink and the red ones. I, I, I the orange ones are okay. The yellow ones are trash. They taste like fucking artificial um, house cleaner. <laughs> it's awful. I don't know why anyone would eat that. Um, but we're rating these as a group, the, and... Yeah, I would put these with the, um, with the, um, with the flavored Tootsie Rolls. I put them in the same tier. Alright, that's fair. Yeah, we'll put them right there. Um, next we've got Sugar Daddy. Oh, man, that's a candy from days old. You know, that has a very dirty connotation in our modern world. I know, uh, yeah. Oh! Oh, it's a candy bar on a stick manufactured by Tootsie Roll Industries that's essentially a moderately hard brick of caramel. A candy bar on a stick. Made that's of caramel true. that can last you a day. Assuming what? that you don't chew on it. Hmm. That's, a, that's a good concept. I'm wow. I love the ingenuity they... behind it. I'm... Let's see if they make them still. I, I forgot to check that. Yeah, you were literally on the page. Yeah, I know. Um, that's a dating website. That's also a dating website. <laughs> Wikipedia, here we go. Um, the name cha was originally called a Papa Sucker in 1932? Oh, no. Bro, that's even worse. I know. <laughs> um, today, sugar candies are produced in two standard sizes, the Junior Pop with the 53 cal and the Large Pop with the 200 cal. Um, for Valentine's Day and Christmas, there are also giant sized half pounds with 960 cal and one pound. Dang! These things get huge! I know, imagine you walk into uh, like a candy shop and see you with a giant S candy bar to stick. Apparently they're still making them too! So yeah, let's let's throw these in the A tier. These things are cool. Ooh, like, I I just like it for just the idea. I just think it sounds very fascinating. All right, next we got candy corn, candy the corn. most divisive candy in human history. I fucking love candy corn. I me too. <laughs> awesome. My friend Jay, um, he does not like candy corn. He throws that stuff away. Um. So I so thankfully we can agree on this. I'm putting this in the S tier. Oh yes. Cause it's just not October if you don't eat some candy corn. Exactly. Now we got Twix. Twix is Well, it's Twix. I it's not as standout as Snickers or Butterfinger, but it's pretty good for what it is. I actually like Twix more than Snickers. Okay. So, where would you say that Twix would go above Crunch or below Crunch? I would say, like, right below Crunch. Alright. 
Um, now we got Warheads. These things, <laughs> these are another one of those candies that I would say trade. Unless you really like sour, trade them. <laughs> Sounds fair. Now we got York Peppermint Patties. You can't really go wrong with these. I wouldn't say they're as good as... Well, I, I don't know. It feels wrong to put them into B tier. But it doesn't feel right putting them in A tier either. It's really weird. Yeah, you know what? A tier. Yeah, let's do it. Do like low A tier. Yeah, we'll put it. We'll put it above. We'll put it underneath the Butterfinger. I mean, actually, you know what? We'll put it right by the Junior Mints because it's basically just a larger version of those things. Fair enough. Um, now we got a Zero Bar. I've never eaten this, but you know what? We'll Google it. Google. Zero Bar. A Zero Bar was introduced in 1920. It is a candy bar comprised of a combination of caramel, peanut, almond, nougat, covered with a layer of white chalk. Oh my, this sounds delicious. Where can I get one? You can, wait. Okay, so you can buy one for $32.50. You can buy a pack of these for $32.50 on, is that Amazon? Yeah, it's Amazon. I should have known. Amazon has all sorts of esoteric candies. Um, did you know that they still make mallow cups? What's a mallow cup? Okay, imagine a Reese's peanut butter cup, but instead of peanut butter, it's marshmallow inside. <gasps> that sounds amazing. And it's like a really gooey marshmallow, too. It's not like that shitty, fake-ass marshmallow that you see in a lot of candies. It's nice. I bought, like, a bag of them for, like... I, I bought a bag that was the size of my torso to my head um, on Amazon back in 2020 for, like, $10. I assumed I was getting, you know, your average size bag of candy. What I got was a, a fucking heap of them. I was like, dang! <laughs> um, and the way that I found out about Mallow Cups was actually by way of the TV show Jericho. Um, cause the, uh, there's this one scene in one of the episodes where these dudes are sitting down at the, uh, local bar talking about their favorite Halloween candies, not too dissimilar from what we're doing now, and how, um, the dude would always trade Mallow Cups with his brother cause he hated them for some reason. But I, when I, I, I got curious, I'm like, is Mallow Cups a real thing? And then that's how I found out what it was and when I googled it, and I'm like, I gotta, I gotta try these, and then that's how I found the Amazon link. But yeah, no, these zero bars, these zero bars sound kick-ass. What do you think, S tier? Mm, maybe A tier. All right. Sounds interesting, but like, I, I would have to taste it myself to see it. Fair enough, hi A. And then we will post this to the Twitters. Woohoo! Also, once again, apologies for delays, folks. Um, Apparently there was some technical mishap on my end, and, but we got that fixed, so we're here and we did it. All right, there we go. Post. Yeah, sure. Why not? Um, just got done making the Halloween candy tier list with at me yes with <laughs> at rick <laughs> i don't know why but whenever i say your name my brain goes back to that fucking uh, episode of spongebob where they're doing that fucking wrestling match at the end of like the fry cook games and spongebob erases part of patrick's name on his name tag with a pencil and Patrick just starts screaming, My name's not Rick! <laughs> oh man, that's a class. You know what's funny? I was gonna call myself 64 DD, but I didn't have enough characters, so I just do a single D. Oh, that makes sense. For those who don't know, that's actually the Nintendo 64 uh, disk drive. It was supposed to be an add-on for the N64 that was all to play like disc based games, but like it just flopped like ass in Japan, so they just stopped it after like a year. It also didn't help it didn't come out till like almost four years after the launch of the console, but at that point, 
the N64 was already on the way out, and the PS2 was on the horizon, so nobody was really looking for that. Yeah, it's really a shame that the disc, the 64DD failed, because the potential it had was awesome. Honestly, I feel like the Eater should have launched it alongside the main console, released it like a year or two after it launched. I think doing it as late as they did is what really hurt in the long term. Because by that point, people got used to the cartridges, so when they saw the disc thing, I think people just like couldn't get on board. And it also didn't help to run a lot of games under it either. Yeah. Well, believe it or not, we've been at this for almost two hours. Um, it is now 8 o'clock where I live. I need to clean the dog room. I will be doing Infernax later tonight. Once that's done, um, we were behind the, this entire Sunday to today. We've been behind on schedule essentially because we did Branch Brothers Monday, then we did this today, and um, doing Infernax tonight to start the sp first of the spooky games will um, will put us back on schedule. I don't know how long Infernax is. Um, I'm hoping I can beat it within like maybe a week or a couple days. Um, cause we yeah, had, cause there's a, the, the, the roster for games this year is long. Yeah, I can tell. I thought you were doing, I thought we were starting Castlevania. First. I was going to, but then I remembered, oh, wait a minute, Rick gave me Infernax for my birthday. I was going to do that for, uh, for, uh, for the Spooktober Spectacular as well. Yeah, I'm glad you remembered that. In fact, I might actually be there for that stream, so, um, keep an eye out for that. Cool. I'll be looking forward to it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I will see you all later, but for now, I must go. Oh, before we go, though, let's find somebody to raid. Yeah, let's do it. Is we, Micah still alive? I, I wonder. If he is, let's raid him. Um, big oh, yeah, he is. Perfect.